Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you saw my video from a few weeks ago of us taking an old dragster that was cut in half and welding it back together, then you might remember the name Elmer Earls. He's the guy that, who had the junkyard where the dragster was sitting. And, uh, you know, I told you I wanted to go back and see some more of his stuff. Well, I finally had a chance to run back over there and I brought Carly along with me. We didn't venture too far out into his field because it was already grown up really tall. You know, we didn't really want to take a chance on one of us getting bit by a snake or who knows what. Uh, it was just too grown up for us to go out there. But we stayed pretty close to the shop and there was still plenty of cool stuff to see. Um, so we started pretty much as you come down the hill by his shop, there's all sorts of stuff, collection of stuff including tires and wheels, which I'm just crazy about. I always love that kind of stuff. First thing, right off the bat, I've spotted a pair of Mickey Thompson, uh, the Raider-style wheels. They're two-piece. they got a cast center steel hoop and just really cool classic 60s, maybe early 70s type wheel. Uh, he had a pair of them there, and that kicked off kind of our adventure. So... What I want to do was show Carly where we got that old dragster out, and I want to show it to you guys too, so you got a better look at the surroundings of that old dragster. On one side of it was a late 60s Ford F100 truck, uh, you know, mostly complete, nothing special, but kind of a cool old truck. Next to it is a 63 model Impala Super Sport. Very complete car. Almost all the trim is there. Obviously, this thing is rusty. There was obviously a reason that it ended up in a junkyard. So I don't want to hear a bunch of trash talk about, you know, these guys letting these cars ruin. There was a reason this thing was in a junkyard. So anyways, next to it is a really cool Chevrolet station wagon. Uh, found a couple of Tri-5 Chevys, including a 1957 station wagon. And what I noticed immediately was that somebody had filled in the trim holes. This was originally a Bel Air or maybe a 210. You could still see the Bondo where this was kind of a work in progress. So when I see something like that, I know this is a custom car. Somebody was going to extreme lengths to make this thing smooth and cool. And as we made our way around the car, I saw some more cool stuff. I noticed it had a louvered hood. That's a very cool hot rod piece. One of Elmer's rules for us was to not open any doors and not open any hoods. I totally get that. And I respect that. So we went down, uh, you know, to check out this 57 and get a little closer look at it. And it was tempting to open that louvered hood and see what was in there, but I didn't. Uh, but I did see that it had a four-speed transmission hiding. There was a little hole cut out in the transmission tunnel, and you could see that four-speed in there. So it had some kind of hot rod motor in it at some point in its life. Elmer is also a Volkswagen guy. He's got buses and Beetles and all kinds of parts everywhere. And then just some random stuff like 70s big cars. There was some big trucks. There was some parts laying. Uh, there was a really cool, just sort of random in a walkway area, a set of 69 model Chevrolet dog dish caps just laying there. But, you know, just a lot of cool stuff to see. Uh, an old Nova. There was a Buick. There was quite a few... 30s and 40s cars that you know I couldn't get a whole lot of access to but uh, I got as good as I could to show you guys and uh, one thing that just blew my mind there was a school bus in the midst of this junkyard that was full to the ceiling with parts and I mean trim pieces you could see the stainless trim through the window wow I mean that is stuff that car guy dreams are made of and uh, wouldn't you just love to get in there and see what all was there? And, uh, you know, box trucks that were full of parts, parts that were just all over the ground. This is my kind of stuff. And, you know, I didn't want to impose on Elmer. I didn't want to waste a bunch of his time. He actually had customers in his hippie beads store. Uh, so I didn't want to pull him away from that. So uh, it was just kind of up to me and Carly to explore Obviously, we wanted to respect Elmer's property. He cares a lot about these cars and his collection and these parts. Uh, so, you know, we didn't want to disturb any of that. And uh, we checked it out. We probably spent 30 minutes or so roaming around in the woods. And we had a good time. And 
we enjoyed a little bit of time with Elmer in his shop there and uh, just wanted to show you some of that here it didn't quite add up enough to be a big hot rod hoarders episode but this guy is definitely a hoarder he's got a huge collection of old cars and parts so I wanted to share it here and I appreciate you watching and I hope that you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and that you tune in every Friday when I post a new video.